Hello, 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 and welcome back. It is December, December, if I can say that, I'm exhausted. December 7th, Vlogmas. Um, it's been a really, really good day. I have gotten myself a new soft, oh my gosh, robe. I, I really, really, really like it. I don't know if you're able to see it. It's one of those really soft, it's not a terry, it's, oh, I love it. I had gone to four different stores and I end, ended up getting it at Ross at a really, really good, good deal. It was originally, I think, like $58 and I got it for $19.99, so 20 something with tax. But I really like it. I, I was wearing my Terry, but it was so heavy on me. And um, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to get my, I have not had a new robe. For years I mean I'm gonna say 20 plus years it's been a long time so I just got the bathroom put together the the it feels very comfortable so it's a very right fitting the only thing I'm needing to find is pajamas um, I had just thrown away a pair of my favorite all-time holy holes pajamas that I, I I really debated on throwing it away but I'm gonna tell you something it it was really difficult but I did it so <laughs> so I'm in the hunt for pajamas and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to wait till after the welcome back I guess I had to switch out that battery I must not have a this I I don't know it's I'm having a lot of complications with this one battery so I don't know what the, yeah, I need to do some research. But what I was trying to say is, I don't even know where I ended off on. I think I was talking about the robe. I got the bathroom all organized and um, I just want to make it more feel like a comfortable environment. On, so when Ray gets back, he can soak in the tub and just unwind. I just want him to just to relax. So. I got all of that. I wanted to make sure I was recording. Goodness sakes. So today for it being December 7th, um, I am recording during dark time and it is very, very cold out. I wore a sweater today with um, a pair of boots and um, people are out shopping like crazy. It's just, you know, I, it's a, it's crazy. I just I remember back when I was years ago when I would stress about shopping like that and I'm just very blessed that I don't have to worry about that anymore I just I know what I need I get what I need and then I'm done and I'm I'm, I'm okay I don't there's no more impulse shopping if that makes sense so it's it's sort of very enjoyable to have not to have that pressure anymore if that makes sense so um if you follow me on facebook i've not put it on instagram i'm i'm just i need to get a little bit more organized you know the glitter is coming in um i had put on there i was driving home and i totally forgot to pick up the furry dozen food and you know what they probably would have just kicked me out and locked the door and never let me come back in just joking so I went back and I had, um, man, this is with me. I had gone and got him, got them, not him, but them, their dog food. So make sure that we filled the pain, the, the thing for them. And, um, blues was much less stress. <laughs> She's so funny. She sits there in front of the, in the, 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 what do you call it the tin but we put the food in and she, she knows when it gets low the sound of it the echoness of it she knows if the food is low so want to get up there okay there you go so um yeah they 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 forgave me so um when i when i had first gone in to get a couple of items that i was needing situation you know like i really needed them but i needed and i had um there was a gentleman, a bell ringer, and he, I swear, he looked like Santa Claus. He really did. To me, he looked like Santa Claus. So I um, was walking through, got my cart, 
and the poor guy at the front, you know, who checks the receipts if there's something, you know, big and he needs to check the cart. Um, I go, the dog sent me back out because I forgot their food and he started laughing. <laughs> so I got the food, came back and, um, I was walking out and the gentleman, you know, he was saying Merry Christmas and I go, do you need a hot cocoa or a coffee? Would you like me to get you one? And he goes, no, I'm good. Thank you for asking though. I've never had anyone ask me. And um, he goes, I just had lunch. So um, I should have made, got one anyway. I should have. But he had handed me his business card and it's sort of, he had, I wanted to show it. I don't know if you're able to see it. Oh, let me see if I can do that. Give him some kudos out there. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Let me see. It's still focusing on me. There we go. Look at the first name. Angel. Isn't that ironic? So ironic. So if anyone's in the El Paso um, area... Look him up, Angel Larry Terras, and he says rent a Santa for the next Christmas party. And I'm going to put that in my um, group page, El Paso Best Kept Secret. He had such a heart of gold, and I wanted to put that out there. So he gets, he looked like Santa. And it's sort of funny because he does dress up as Santa. So, um... Today being Vlogmas and doing the Advent calendar, um, today with it being December 7th, it is something that is, I miss seeing this. I don't see this as much as I used to when I lived in the Midwest and up north in South Dakota. But I, I really, really miss them and it's the snowflake. The snowflake. I love snowflakes. I love them, I love them, I love them. Now, and today, today this poor little guy, they, they sort of used his name in, a, in sort of a negative way. And it, it states here, I'm going to read it to you. Snowflake, as a slang term involved in a, dictator, a usage of the word a snowflake, is referred to a person meaning that the person's inflated sense of humor or un uniqueness or unwarranted sense of entitlement, or to be over-emotional, easily offended, and unable to deal with the opposing opinions. Common usage includes the terms as special snowflakes. You know, I wish they didn't call, I wish they didn't use the word snowflake, because I feel, in my opinion, in my opinion, that the snowflake is so special. It is, it needs the attention. And the reason is I compare a snowflake to you and I. No snowflake is as alike. No snowflake, you'll ever see one just exactly the same. And that's what makes them special. The only time you see them is if the temperature is a certain degree and when it hits the different layers of the atmosphere you know it could be raining and then it gets ice and then maybe then the snow situation kids love snow i remember being young and building the snowman and 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 putting you know the carrot in the nose i didn't have coal so um i remember sledding i still i have an old old sled downstairs so it's it brings back a lot of childhood good memories as the snowflake. Um, it, it's in today's society things have changed so much, and we we're always. It, it seems like what I am observing that in today's technology we try to change or modify or or um, edit a photo to to make your skin smoother or make your nose more narrow or or thin out a certain part of your body or make one more luxurious situation it's like we're not some of us are not satisfied for who we are so we need to 
do some kind of procedure to make oneself feel good. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm not saying that's a negative. It's just some people just need to do to make them feel better. With, I, I totally understand. Um, I wish I could have a procedure Botox and get rid of my wrinkles. I wish I would be, you know, I, I should just color my hair and get rid of the glitter. But I've had to come to terms with everything that I've gone through. Everything I have gone through. These are reminders that I was given another day. These wrinkles here, these character lines that I call, are the laughter and the smiles of watching my children grow and develop into the beautiful individuals they are today. They are the tears of seeing losing a grandparent, my grandmother and my grandfather and my father, or losing friendships. It's also with smiles of what, you know, meeting Ray in my life and, and being so blessed of what we have as a marriage. Now the gray hair, I used to color my hair all the time, all the time. But when I had gotten ill since the car accident, I had, um, with, had developed fatty liver disease. I, I wanted to go more natural. I wanted to do things that weren't putting harmful in me, okay? And um, I know Ray has said to me, you know, if you want to, you go ahead. Doesn't He's not saying do it. it you'll look better. Is He's probably thinking, if you're wanting to do something to make you feel better about yourself, please do, you know? And that's a lot of times what we do as men and women. We try to change of what we have, what we were born with. The only time a snowflake changes is when it hits something, a surface, or the sun, or the temperature of it reaching down to the level of where we are able to see it. I find it very symbolic that they say today when they use the terminology as snowflake as an overly emotional individual. I would be very overly emotional if I was as beautiful. I would be overly emotional that I was given another day. God hasn't entrusted me to be able to help others and to deliver positive forward. Pay it forward. I, it really, it's, today's world is different. Some things I'm good, I'm happy about because of technology. I'm able to say to my TV, blank Google, um, stop or blank Google, you know, do something. I don't want you to, to, um, activate your Google if you have one, but, um, or, you know, hey, blank Google, um, you ask them a question and they give you the information. So today's technology is so much more advanced. I know I was growing up, I never had a cell phone. And today, this is more or less, it's this, 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 this cell phone here is going to be holding photos. It, it's, it's our dictionary it's our calendar it's our um, music it's everything into one handheld device and sometimes now we're going to get it on into a watch I'm looking at watches got to monitor my heart you know but so when you hear the word snowflake out in, in the world, and I want you to think about this video and say, what did Jay say? 
it is okay to be overly emotional. I'm a very, very overly emotional person. I am very, very sensitive. And I'm okay with that. I can see a child, how he interacts, and I get very teary-eyed. Because that's our, there are future leaders right there. If we empower them, if we uplift them, and we validate that they do mean something, they will be that unique individual that they are that God has brought to us as the snowflake. So I hope that sort of enlightens you. So if you're going to use the word in the negative, step back and say, why, why am I following the path like that. What I'm trying to say is don't be a follower, be a leader. This is this isn't fake news. <laughs> this is reality. Today was reality. I got a little angry today. I just think sometimes people are so disrespectful and they just assume that you're going to stop and let them in. I'm very, very guarded, meaning when I'm driving because of the accident and thank goodness that I don't have my blinders on. I see what's going on. So my vehicle, my Vino or my, <laughs> my car doesn't get damaged, Vito. He's from the Godfather. He's my protector. Ava. Oh, they're playing. They're playing downstairs with the ball. Uh, she's getting upset by that. She likes to control the situation. So, and she's been on Facebook today too, Miss Ava. So I just wanted to come on and share with you what December 7th was. It is a snowflake. I find the snowflake very, very symbolic for the fact that you know, it only happens at a short time of the year. Uh, it depends on the location you're in. Now, if you lived up far north in Canada or, or, you know, Iceland, Greenland, you know, you see snow all the time. Or even in higher elevations. I shouldn't even say that. But some of us, such as I, it's very rarely to see our childhood memories. It's very rare to, to enjoy the snowflake. I took it for granted. Don't take advantage of your snowflake. So this holiday when you're enjoying yourself with your family or with your friends and it starts snowing, first of all, be careful, drive safely, don't rush, take a deep breath and enjoy the day God has given you and pay it forward. I love you. Thank you for coming back. I'm not sure what tomorrow is. I got a little late today, but it will be up. And um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. If you think someone needs to Listen to the 25 days of Christmas, share it. So I do appreciate the comments that everyone is making. It means more to me than you will ever, ever know because you are making a difference. I love you. Be good to yourself, be good to others for we do not know what part of their journey they're on. Come back and visit me and the furry dozen and we'll find out what day eight is. God bless. Have a good one. You ready? Okay, I'm ready to love you.